name is Dr. Jesse Sanders, owner and chief veterinarian of Aquatic Veterinary Services. Today we'll be talking about the best substrate options for your tank or aquarium. So starting with the most common one, gravel. Comes in lots of different colors, pretty much anything to your heart's desire. Um, fine to use for most aquariums, it's usually your cheapest option and you can color it and make it whatever works with your aquarium. A um, lot of people will be concerned that they see their goldfish kind of rooting around in the bottom substrate. They'll suck in a pebble, might keep it in there for a minute or two, and then spit it back out. This is a completely normal foraging behavior. Um, you have only had one fish that actually got a pebble stuck, and it's because he actually had a oral deformity where he had an extra flap of skin that had formed an inner ring inside his mouth. So, other than that, um, it's really not a big deal if you do see a pebble and it is not coming out. Do not panic. It is only going to prevent your fish from getting a little bit of food. They can still breathe just fine. Um, the operculum is going to be able to move and get them the oxygen that they need. So don't panic. Uh, it is something that will probably be resolved on its own. If it persists for more than a day though, you're going to need to get a vet to get it out because the fish will need to be sedated to, to dislodge that pebble. So next option is sand. Um, sand is really good if you have, say, a saltwater tank with um, a fish species that likes to root around and dig little burrows. Uh, it is fine for most other standard aquariums. Um, if you do have fish that are really getting down there and digging, only thing is they might kick up some sand and it might get sucked into your filter. And if you have one of those little hang on the back filters, that sand can damage the propeller that's in there. So maybe not the best option for that. And now we have kind of next larger size is small rocks. Please make sure that these are small rocks that are made for aquariums. Don't just dig a big pile of gravel out from your driveway. Um, I mean, if you have no better options, um, make sure you clean it really well, lots of bleach, and make sure you rinse that bleach really, really well. Um, really depends on kind of the size of fish that you have. Um, for those of you who are familiar with our Rocky the Shovel Nose Catfish, he had a lot of fun eating small rocks. So we switched his substrate out for sand and the rocks no longer got stuck. So it's going to depend on what kind of um, tank you have set up and what behaviors your fish are doing. Most of the time, small rocks just fine. Just please get them from an aquarium store and not your front yard. So moving on to soil. So soil is going to come into play if you have a aquarium with lots of planted, actual live plants. Um, you don't need soil if you have fake plants. Um, go back to the gravel. So soil is going to change up kind of how you do your maintenance. Uh, it's going to make things a little bit stickier down on the bottom. Um, biggest deal with this is it usually tends to be a little bit thicker. So if you have areas that maybe aren't getting oxygenated enough, you can actually build up anaerobic bacteria that, if it is disturbed, will release hydrogen sulfide. How do you know it's hydrogen sulfide? Your fish tank will smell like rotting eggs. Not good for fish, and you probably don't want to smell it either. So what other options do we have? Well, we also have no substrate. But Dr. Sanders, I thought all fish tanks were supposed to have substrate. Well, they really don't. Um, having a bare bottom on your tank really isn't going to hurt your tank at all. So yes, I hear everybody saying, I have biologic bacteria in there that are running my filter. If you are relying on the bottom substrate to run your filtration, uh, you're going to have some other problems. So keep all your good bacteria in your filtration, your other canister, hang on the back, sump, whatever you have set up. But having no substrate on the bottom of your tank is just fine, especially for fish who really don't kind of mess around in the substrate. Um, most tropical fish don't really care. Again, goldfish foraging around, kind of a normal behavior. I stick with the gravel. So anyway, that's all the information you hopefully need on picking out a substrate for your tank. It really depends on what kind of fish you have in there and how much effort you want to go to cleaning it. So anyway, if you have any more fish health or care questions, please visit our website at cafishvet.com. At Aquatic Veterinary Services, fish are treated like family.